Yes, we do give thanks for life and a mighty life given. and we give thanks for all good things around us are sent from Zion above. So we praise for our praise for for all his love. Give thanks definitely as we have stepped into the realms of Calabash, television, the food of seven. Basically, soul food and spirit food and the good food. So, this is a new year and this is our first program for this year, 2019. And I mean, tonight really is, is a full moon, you know, and we give thanks for even our first program tonight being on not just any full moon, but they call it a super moon when the moon will be as close to the earth. I mean, they say this only happens like four times every century. So... We are definitely in a special moment whereby the, the moon will be as close to the earth as it ever gets. And also they say there will be a red moon. Why? Because there is an alignment of the earth and the moon and then there will be a red shadow over it and you know how it is. So they call it the red moon. So give thanks for all these wonderful things manifesting even in the heavens tonight as we join you again this year 2019 a year that we are earnestly you know working towards the completion and the fulfillment and the fulfillment of many and many and many and many of the things that we see that are necessary in these times you know because we are in a time when you see you hardly see see people really stand up and fight for what they see is right so people don't really stand up them days there people don't don't really like stand up and say, no nah, man, you can't do that. No nah, man, you can't do that. Even if something is happening to someone and instead of someone stepping in to help, they would more than likely step in and pull their camera. Right? And basically try to film the whole thing on camera instead of at least saying, well, they're going to assist the person so people don't really people don't really um, have that love as people used to have before you know people don't really move towards it to say well they love one another and they want to do better for one another people don't care about anything there So, it is for us as a people to begin to develop that whole idea of self-love and that self-love would basically equate to the love of every other person because people are so afraid of loving themselves because people people are really afraid. People are afraid because I mean People are really afraid. You know, people are afraid because they believe that if they love themselves, that means that they have to justify it for somebody else or they have to give an explanation. They don't... They, they, they don't really... Um, want to say well they love themselves and they don't care they just love themselves people generally you know generally people generally just you know, do what they have to do people don't do things because of a love of self if it is that our people really was doing whatever it is that we were doing 
full love of self. That means that we'd have been in a much better position as a people, you know. Because people don't really uh, exercise that self love to say, well, okay, well, that's I want the best for me, and that's it. It is for us as a people to say, well, all right, let us begin to stand up. Because today, you might believe that you, you, something happened to someone today and you never stood up. And then tomorrow when something happened to you, who's going to stand up for you? you know? Nobody's going to stand up for you because you don't stand up for anyone. When things happen in and thing, you don't stand up for that. You just hide and think. But tomorrow something going to happen to you. So when it comes to our whole aspect of our health care, when it comes to the things that as a people that we know are, are detrimental to us and to our children, because it is a, a, a fact that 99% of what people die from is from what you call non-communicable chronic illnesses. That means that out of every hundred, I mean, more people die with diabetes and cancer and heart attack and stroke than people die from guns and drowning and accidents and them type of things. There are plenty more people die from diabetes and hypertension and heart disease and cancer and plenty 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 more people dying right so it is for us as a people to consciously consciously as a people to make that decision that what we are doing is standing up for something upful, for something that we know well. Look, I can't make this happen, you know, man. I have to stand up for that. You know, um, how it is that these people, eh, you know, having all these different junk foods and all them different things they're selling in the schools. I can't see that, man. I'm going to stand up for that. I'm going to go by the school with a placard and begin to protest every day until they stop having junk foods in the schools. I mean, our people, people don't really say, well, they stand up for things to say. Well, that's not good. We're going to stand up for it. No. We don't see them things. So, the children are left by themselves to deal with all the tribulation. You know? The babies are, you know, nobody there to defend them. They just get shot as soon as they come out of the home and no one is there to ensure that the vaccines or whatever that they they get you know the injections that they get in are, are good or it won't give, be given autism i mean enough different things happening in the world right now enough different things and yet still we don't consciously as a people begin to examine our predicament and make a conscious decision Instead of working towards our death, begin to work towards our survival, our life. So we find that we are living in a system, in a society where 99.9% .9 of the things that are created are things that would kill you. Dangerous. So... Starting from the, the paint, okay, even, even the paint in the room, okay, you have a studio, they have paint. 
So you have lead free paint or aluminum free paint or mercury free paint or all type of paint but they have all them free 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 thing paints because all them different chemicals within the paint itself these materials themselves are what you call carcinogenic you have the bulbs the light all them things that emit particular type of radiations you have the cell phone you have the laptop all them things there is radiation right you have the water they put chlorine inside of it so when you drink the water you know you, you, you drink chlorine all the time right so the rice they put thing in it every i mean every aspect of every single thing you, you're going to be taking medicines because you are sick and the medicines might cause you to The smoke coming out of the vehicle. Can it, every single thing outside there, if you just examine it, man, as if things were deliberately designed to actually get people sick. So our lifestyle, whereby we begin to be more conscious, we begin to critically examine the things that we actually surround ourselves with. We have to critically examine what we surround ourselves with. We just cannot sit down there and believe that someone is going to be able to care for our wellness more than we care for our own wellness. So we are living in a time when you have toothpaste. You know, in St. Lucia they call it Colgate. But toothpaste on the whole is not something that you're really supposed to swallow. Toothpaste in its own sense is poisonous. Shampoos and all them different, plenty of perfumes and all them things there are things that basically kill off people. So our children are given carbonated drinks, fizzy drinks, sweet drinks with half a cup of sugar, quarter cup of sugar, plus coloring, holy phosphoric acid, Right, and then now, we consciously purchase these poisonous substances. The Coke and the Sprite and the Chubby and the Icy and the Pepsi and the whatever it is. The soft drinks, because they're really soft. We consciously invest our money in buying these things there and proudly as if that is being wealthy that's being rich oh look i can give my child too chubby every day and as you watch it your child get chubby for true so the more chubby the child drinks the chubbier the child gets oh i can give them the capri stone or i can give them the Salted biscuit and cheese and I can get a KFC every day or whatever. So whatever we perceive as a people that is basically wealth and prosperity and something grand. We focus our energies and we spend money and time and effort in killing our children. All right, it sounds harsh. It sounds very harsh. It's harsh. Yeah, it sounds awful. To hell, I'm saying that we spend time, money, energy in killing our children. So if it is that we are, we are buying stuff, we are being parents, not just paying the rent, pay rent, if we are just pay rent and we only pay the rent and we don't even consciously make decisions for the upliftment of our children whereby as a people we know that 
what we are offering our children, what we are investing in our children, would be something that would fortify them, make them strong, make them diabetes resistant, make them cancer foolproof, make them high blood pressure proof. Why? Because we are investing in education, in food, in positive affirmations, lifestyle change, to ensure that our children begin to inculcate these positive attributes from youth. So, when you heard today that we have so many people on dialysis and so many people with di diabetes and high blood pressure and so many cases of, 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 of breast cancer and all them things there, we must understand that our present reality, whatever it is that we are seeing right now in our system, our present reality is as a direct consequence. I don't know if my English is good. If it's not good, you correct me. Because you know I'm not English. I'm just there trying my best with this language that was forced upon me by the colonizers. I'm just trying my best. You know I'm supposed to be speaking this in American, he Swahili and them type of thing there. Jambo. You know them. You know, Tabarak, some kind of language, but you know we are left with this poor little English language to to make do. Uh, anyway, our present predicament is as a result of our actions for the past decade, for the past two decades, for the past fifty years. What we are today is not just because of so, well, yesterday you start to feel sick and think, so boy, from yesterday, boy, from yesterday. No, you've been working hard. Day in, day out. To get sick. So this year's message in the super moon. Super moon. We have a, a super moon. I mean, give thanks for. Right, the. Creator, you know, could have blessed us with such things, you know. When was the last time you see them and look at the moon and say, wow, the moon is beautiful. Get touched by the moon. Turn off all your lights and look at the brightness of the moon. We have to do these things. These things, they are very important. Our capacity as a people to be able to to be touched. To look upon things and, 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 and give gratitude. Give thanks. Just to be able to be in that moment. We spend plenty of time in confusion and fussing and fighting and eating the foods that, 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 that's bad for us. Drinking the things that's bad for us. Thinking the way that's bad for us. And then we end up with all type of diseases. And then we blame everybody else. Not taking responsibility at all for ourselves. Because no matter what the circumstance. We always have choice. And even when they don't have choice. There is what you call rebellion. Which is a choice to rebel. So if there is nothing good in a place, you have to ensure that good things get into that place. So you're just going to sit down there. Don't get anything good at all and just be comfortable. Now, man, you have to emancipate yourself from that state of being whereby your reality is affected by other people and not by your own actions you have to consciously know that you control your own now it is you you in full control man 
You are in full control. Everything that you need comes from right inside of you. So you are there and you not standing up and believing that you standing up wouldn't make a difference. But it takes someone to stand up because we are in the state that we are right now because nobody stands up. Nobody come and say, well, cigarette does kill, so let us protest against it. Nobody else come and say, well, we know that the soft drinks bad, so let's burn it from all the schools and parents go from school to school and protest and make sure that they burn it. And You understand? So, when them things they happen, it, it actually creates avenues for other local people to produce nice local fruit juices, you know, even fresh coconut water and all manner of things. To actually begin to provide for the students high quality stuff so why is it that we don't take these steps as a people to ensure that things are put in place whereby our actions instead of leading to diabetes would lead to to wellness so instead of having a, a system that that actually promotes the drinking of rum so the same way they, they actively promote rum drinking because we are aware we want to bring down our rates of diabetics of kidney failure and them type of things there so we said well look let us honestly right in working towards Bringing all them things that down. Honestly, what we have to examine, there are enough different things you have to start to cut out. Because you want to bring things down. You want to bring that rate down from that percent to this percent. So you begin to crit critically analyze and you begin to implement things. So you say, well, from preschool going up, you put mandatory policies of portions of vegetables and exercise and positive affirmation times from preschool preschool from kindergarten and a kind of garden one daycare from daycare you begin to make that that, that mission because remember you know a lot of the little money that the country have is going into buying drugs, you know. Legal drugs. To take care of diabetes, take care of cancer, take care of high blood pressure. Right? The healthcare bill of the country is very high. Up to now, they can't open up the new hospital. In St. Lucia. So... Come on. The healthcare bill is extremely high. We cannot even really take care of our present expenses to say, well, so you have even more reason to critically analyze what you're doing. And instead of focusing on buildings and machines and all them different type of things we could focus on education of the people and focus on creating that wellness culture whereby there are activities that are planned and designed just to ensure that People get a particular level of physical activity, a particular level of herbal teas and green juices and everything has to be organized. So from little school to big school to all type of school, on the workforce, we begin to develop a wellness culture whereby we deliberately targeting these non-communicable diseases and as a people making effort to begin to implement positive changes within our own selves. I mean, 
All of us say we love ourselves. So if we love ourselves then, it doesn't seem that that is something too technical or too difficult that we could ask ourselves to do. Why? Because doing them things there would ensure our survival and the survival of our children and their children. Because if this generation don't step up, it will be terrible for them. Yeah. So, we don't have a choice but to urge you as a people to begin to live more consciously. You know, be develop more of a relationship with your food. You know, don't just eat alone for your belly full, but eat of feast because you understand your nutritional requirements as a person. So we give thanks for this 2019. Give thanks definitely for this, our first program for the new year. Give thanks for Calabash Television having us again. Definitely we are due for an intercession when we come again. We're going to continue. Bless the love. I was in my neighborhood. It was a very dark night and I decided to go for a drink by a bar. On my way from the bar, I felt the sting to my right leg. And when I look back, I knew it was a, a, a full of snake. You happen to be in an area where there are snakes and you are bitten by a snake. This is what you do. You call for help and try to reach the Victoria Hospital within one or three hours, you will be seen immediately. My uncle at the time was a police officer, called the um, Victoria Hospital and told them that we come in for snake bite. It's the only facility on the island which has a protocol and a treatment plan where you can be treated adequately. We call them before you go there so they can prepare for you. And rest assured that there are adequate supplies of antivenom with doctors who have been trained in the treatment protocols of the snake bite. Hi, my name is Walter Dantes, pastor for the Castries Evangelical Church. This is a rallying call to people of St. Lucia as we celebrate our 40th anniversary as an independent nation. We are asking you to join us in prayer and that each person, let's, let's uphold our young nation and be praying for every aspect of, of, of our nation, whether it be economics, political, education, health. We will say, join us as we celebrate 40 years of independence. Thank you. Caribbean Green is a new company that was uh, formed about three years ago. Uh, employ about 50 to 60 persons. My name is Costa Pierre, Director of Sales and Marketing, Caribbean Greens Limited. I am the consultant for the flour mill. We are here providing a St. Lucian product. Our product is of uh, international uh, 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 measures where we actually offer 11 flour, healthy flour, no bleaching involved, that's very important. Um, for, for, for the health of uh, St. Christians. We offer free training for our bakers. Um, it can be bakers, can be caterers, hotel owners, or even restaurants. And uh, we just, we, we, we just here to help understand uh, the beauty of our product and how to use it properly to actually produce the best product for St. Lucia. This exhibition actually showcase our 11 different flower right we have some called uh, regular flour from white to whole wheat to multigrain to rye we have a pizza flour who is really uh, uh, well uh, uh, accepted by the local uh, 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 population and we are here to work with the agriculture sector uh, to work with local farmers in reference to exploring the use of cassava and other material to develop 
a, a healthier product for the people of St. Lucia. What makes a great sign? Simplicity, creativity, huge and loud, small and quiet? At Excel Sign, we help clients all over St. Lucia create the perfect sign for their business needs. Our printing takes place right here with state-of-the-art machines to get the job done at the highest quality. We specialize in a wide variety of pilot signs, vehicle wraps, channel letters, billboards, 3D letters and lots more. Designed to have high visibility, longer life and a great value. Call or visit Excel Sign today and find out how we can help your business express itself. Excel Sign, taking signs further. It's your money, so it's okay to ask your service provider about training and certification to protect you from illness and injury. Certification provides assurance that proper hygiene and sanitation are in place. The St. Lucia Bureau of Standards is looking after your interest. Engage us, it's our job. Call the SLBS at 453-0049. SLBS, making quality and standards our way of life. Yes, we do give peace for life and a mighty life. We give thanks for all good things around us and from Zion above. So we praise for our praise, pray for all his love. Give thanks definitely. As we are here once more this year, and as he was saying, it's responsibility and accountability. Everyone must take responsibility and everyone must stand up for what is right. So many of the things that are happening to us as a country when it comes to our sickness and diseases is because we sit on and we tolerate it. Nobody stands up and says nothing about it and everyone actively contributes towards their own detriment. We, as we say, we spend the money, we buy the soft drinks, we buy the chicken, we buy the pork, we buy the macaroni and cheese, we buy... All these different things that we know that's very bad for us as a people. All them little biscuits and things you, you give to your children. Nobody get up and do a little salad and put some little fruits and check for their children. Everybody just feed their children with things that they know. Even subconsciously, if not consciously, they know that them things that you can't do anything. When you do these things as your children, you, you destroy your children, you kill your children. You know, so that's okay because people do the same thing to themselves. So the majority of people not understanding that time is, is finite. You have a, a particular amount of time in a day, 24 hours in a day. And then within that time, you're supposed to at least be able to invest a quality time within your own self to be able to say well that's what i'm going to do for me I'm, and i'm going to do this for this and i'm going to do this and then i'm going to invest that time in myself again so people just work every day day in day out they get up in the morning and they just go through a procedure when they get home they're tired they knock out and thing and many things happen in life and by the time they blink the idea already old and they move so fast yet so slow that they get old, not even understanding that, look, man, I'm really aging, you know, man. So I'm supposed to be doing that and that more, other than that less. So people just get old, and when they get old, just bram, and that's it. They just get old. They don't age, you know, they get old. Because over a period of time, over a period of time, they have consciously, they have consciously, over a period of time, been living a particular type of way that have led to their own specific detriment. So it is not that someone cannot get well. But how can you even begin to get well when it is that you don't really have that full understanding that your disease state is as a consequence, as a result of your activities that you have been keeping up over years and years and years upon years upon years. Years upon years you've been keeping up 
a particular activity. So where do you expect the outcome of keeping up that particular activity is going to be? Sickness and disease. Now, if we then analyze that and genuinely take responsibility to the fact that, look, I have been eating this, I have been eating that, I have been doing this, I have been doing that, I have been always upset and stressed for the past 20 years. Eating bad and not eating at all and all them type of things. That's why, right? You have diabetes or high blood pressure or fibroids or whatever it is that you have. Then consciously, consciously, Understanding that the great bulk of the diseases that we suffer from as a people are lifestyle diseases. Then you understand that to actually get yourself up to that fullness, that 100%, to get yourself up back to that fullness, that you want to get, you cannot just believe that you just go and lie down on a table, somebody knock you out, and you wake up, and the fibers you had all the years just gone and disappear. That does sound right. But with the fibroids, went your ovaries and went your womb and went all, all type of different parts of you. It does sound right. So then if it is that we put ourselves into the mentality that you're going to get sick and when you get sick what you're going to do is that you're going to just want a quickie fixie and then you want to take no responsibility and have no change whatsoever to your lifestyle. What do you think you're doing? What is that you think you're doing? We need to take full responsibility for ourselves. In the same way that we invest consciously in destroying ourselves, you have to begin to invest consciously in uplifting ourselves. Whereby... Day in, day out, every single one of our actions is supposed to be towards our upliftment. So if it is that we are going to eat some food, you're going to consciously understand that the food that you are going to be consuming is a food that is going to nourish and uplift your physical structure. You're not going to drink something that you know is bad for you. You won't do that. Because... You don't just live and get sick and then try to work all type of magic and all type of thing. Man, them people are so evil, eh? I was watching a YouTube video and then a scientist was, was trying to get some grant funding. Meaning that he's speaking, there's a TEDx video. And I watched a couple of them with the same kind of tone. And then the brother and the sister, both of them, they had the heart to say, well, they have cured cancer. They said, they said, they said that. They said that they have cured cancer. Meaning that they said they have cured cancer so in the 1960s, what they have done in the 1960s specifically, the 1960s, specifically in the 1960s, they say in the 1960s, only 28% of people used to survive from cancer. They say in the 1980s, it became 30% or 40% of people got healed. The 1990s, that's what he's saying, you know, get cured. So this scientist is giving this big TEDx talk. And then they are boasting 
they boasting really about how much they've healed cancer. They're boasting about it that they've healed the cancer. And they say in 20, 20, 20, 2013 or 2012, they were about 70% cure of cancer. All right. And by the present, now, like for chronic myeloid leukemia, CML and ALL, they have up to 90% success rate in curing it now look at how evil this fellow you don't know it's a holy but evil 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 people because remember you know they're saying that they are they they're giving this little speech and the speech that they are giving is so that people like yourself could invest more in cancer research but they say that presently they have ninety percent cure rate of CML chronic myeloid leukemia and ALL cancers that actually kill little children. Now, very important, only to find out that. When they talk about twenty percent, when they talk about cured, the cure means that these people have survived after diagnosis. After diagnosis, these people have survived up to five years. Yeah, so then. On that same graph that you have, the 90% that they say that cure, you know, it just means that they're saying that 90% of the people after diagnosis live up to five years. So if they die with five years and a day, they will still cure. So, these people bring all type of Jimmy Fix and if you go up to 10, year, 10 for 10 years, that 90% 90, that 90 goes probably down to 10% or 5% or some type of thing because, you know, how can you tell me that somebody cure just because they are able to live five years more or they live five years under the treatment? You don't even know if they, I mean, come on, that's the cure? Five years. I'm sure that you could take these people and put them in a nice little scent and feed them with greens and thing and plenty of fresh air and right high herbal extracts and all these different type of things. And within no little time whatsoever, all these people like get well and thing and they live way past five years. So. They are misleading the population, making them thinking, oh, okay, cure. So when you're, oh boy, they have 90% cure for cancer and things. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. They're talking about five years in your bedroom. So if you think that you live five years in a day after suffering with the chemo for the. Because remember, them five years of chemo are going to be like hell, you know. Hair fall off and all your veins collapse and vomiting and pooping on yourself and all type of thing and. Then they're going to say, well, oh, you, because you live five years on chemo and radio and all them things and surgery and I said, they cut up here and cut up there. By that time, they, I'm that big. Telling you, you know, by that time there, you, I'm big because after they take out the breast, they take out the whole, the lymphatic system, right? You know, so they take out all the lymph nodes, all right? So you have no more drainage in the arm, so your arm get that big, you know, and... After that day, so a whole year they're giving you radiation burning you up and thing and then right and we know that radiation causes cancer. I mean 
Nobody wants to go near radiation because, oh boy, radiation gives cancer. But yet still at the end of the day, you know, you still give radiation to try to, try to heal cancer. Eh, come on, man. That ain't making no sense to me. I must be different. Mm -mm, that doesn't make sense to me at all. So then, five years of suffering because you're going to get um, chemicalized if all type of drugs mix up together in a cocktail and they call it chemotherapy. And we know that. That when the drugs for chemotherapy falls to the ground, that you need a suit to pick it up. So, you telling me that you are calling cure five years of that and then after six years you die, you still get cured? Come on now. So you are asking people for billions of dollars for research just for you to see that that's what you're doing. See that people are evil, man. I really can't understand that kind of people there. I, 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 I don't know, huh? I don't know, I can't, I, 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 I can't tell anybody that, man. Me, I can't tell anybody that, man. And then, we live in a world whereby we support them type of things there, you know. That, that, that people support, man. It's them type of things there. It's these type of things there you're talking about. Whereby, people literally spend and put so much energy in everything else than saving the poor and the sick people. So you mean to tell me that? With all the knowledge that we have. If we really invested time and energy. In curing cancer. Cancer wouldn't have been cured. Long time man. Long time ago in Bethlehem man. Yeah. This would have been cured, I mean. Come on, there is no... People just, they just, you know, it's like lamb for the slaughter. You just, you just, they're feeding the, the chain and the cycle and you go in and they cut. You no, know, they give you chemo. Let's give you chemo to get it smaller. Okay, right. Let's cut it out. Let's give you chemo again to make sure that around the edges where we cut out, there is no other cells remaining. Zzzz, we give chemo again. All right, now you need radio. Now by that time there, you don't you done go through a whole year going through suffering, you know. And then two years, three years suffering, you know. So after five years of suffering, you die. You, you, you cure. When? You could have had a better quality of living if you never took all these drugs and burn yourself and chop up yourself and all that type of thing there. But you see that people don't really want to take that responsibility for, for themselves and know well. Whatever the present state of being is, the present predicament is, is as a consequence, as a result of, because of whatever that they have been doing over the years. So to actually get better we have to begin to do better for self so we have to embrace not a health care system but a wellness culture whereby our activities day in day out in the business places in the schools in the playgrounds in the bus every, everywhere we, we have to initiate a complete program Whereby we begin to invest in people just learning that they have to take care of themselves. Deliver that message of wellness, what they have to eat, what they have to drink. So instead of having all these drug ads and all that Sprite is not right and Coke is not eat ad and all them type of things, we begin to have some good ads about yes. If your iron is low, you just go in your backyard, get some stinging at all, put three handfuls in a jug, a glass of water you blend, you strain and you drink. Ah, refreshing, stinging at all. You don't have to bite. It's just right there for free in your backyard. Just plant the seeds. That's it. 
So if that's the kind of ads that our people were seeing about the herbs and the things that they can do naturally at their home to help to uplift themselves, I am sure that this, the people have been more programmed towards self-love. So it takes a, 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 a conscious effort. You have to consciously, I'm talking about consciously, make that effort to actually become better and to help our people become better. It's not something that, you know, that people could just do by themselves because people have been in that state there for a long time and people are very egoistic. So if you say that, 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 they don't want to listen to you just because this and that and this and that and they let the ship sink just because of their own egos. Yeah, people are very egoistic, man. Just because it's that man that say that, I ain't supporting that, man. That man that say, who's that man? So you see that, I mean, among, among ourselves, in, as, as so many intelligent people we have in St. Lucia, don't you think that we could have sat down as a community of scientists and figure out a way forward to help our people? Of course. Of course. Collectively, we can. But we believe in and fighting one another and instead of helping one another to fulfill the goals that we have to achieve, we, you know, we sit down and we fight and we sit down and watch our children you know, get sick and the elders and human after human getting their breasts cut off and people after people getting the kidney kidney failure rampant and amputations daily, plenty of them. Make this year for you a year of completion and embrace yourself. Remember the last new moon of the year was a mystic new moon. Yes, it was a powerful new moon and the full moon, the first full moon this year is also a powerful super moon, red moon. So we are in the right perfect timing and that's our first program for the year. We are in the right perfect timing to embrace ourselves. sink deep in ourselves and begin to act out of that level of justice and equity and morality and stand up against things that we know as wrong. You know, so many of the things that lead into our children getting sick, we know what it is. And I know that no mother loves to see a, chick, a, a sick child. No father likes to see a sick child because, boy, I mean, you know what a, a, a child that is not sick, how Wonderful they are when they're sick, how miserable they are. I mean, nobody loves to see a sick child. So we must consciously stop investing in the sickness of our children and the sickness of ourselves. And consciously make decisions that could actually help to benefit us as a people. You might be saying that, why am I saying that over and over and over again? I'm saying it over and over again because repetition is the key to learning. Most of us have a tough tattoo where we don't really understand. So, give thanks for life. We are due for another intercession. When we come again afterwards, we're going to open up the lines. Those of you want to call us, I mean, you know, we live on Calabash, our first program for the year. It's not pre recorded, we are live. Alright, so. We'll open up the lines, we'll take a little intercession and we'll open up the lines and we'll allow you to call in, make your contributions and how we want to see this year going forward. What you think that you could do to make the world a better place. Not what Priscilla Ash alone can do, but what all of us can do, you know. So, let us grow as a people and begin to invest consciously in our upliftment as a people. All of us will have to be dying of cancer and diabetes and high blood pressure and everything. So we could naturally change that. 80% of all them things can be healed. If we change our consciousness and we begin to invest more time and energy in the, in the parts of our brains that make us feel good, then feel, feel sad. 
Let's be successful in love in self. The greatest success. Give thanks. When you come again, we'll open up the lines and we'll take your calls. Bless in love. Enough potential for geothermal energy generation. That's more business profitability, lower energy costs for solution families. Power in every corner of the nation. New opportunity for wealth creation. Renewable is sustainable. Renewable is reliable. More environment. You've invested lots of time and money into your business. Your customers place their trust in you. Don't take them for granted. You want your customers to keep coming back. The St. Lucia Bureau of Standards is there to guide you on training and the certification needed to give you that competitive edge. It is more affordable than you think. Call the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards today at 453-0049. SLBS, making quality and standards our way of life. Do you think there is an area that needs a streetlight? Make your request to the Ministry of Infrastructure, the agency responsible for approving new streetlight installations. The Ministry will review the request and make a decision. This may include a site visit. If the Ministry approves the request, then Lucilec will install a new streetlight. Here in St. Lucia, we do things differently. Bank of St. Lucia is St. Lucian in every way, and we share in the challenges that affect us all. It's how we come back stronger every time. How affordable home loans build families and communities. How CSR programs support dreams. We remain stronger than ever, ready as always to play our part in the lives of every St. Lucia. Your life partner in banking, POSL, is there every step of the way, serving you, sharing with you. It's how we bank. Connected, supportive, uniquely part of every St. Lucian experience. Together for life. Bank of St. Lucia. All the bank you need. Hi, my name is Walter Dantes, pastor for the Castries Evangelical Church. This is a rallying call to people of St. Lucia as we celebrate our 40th anniversary as an independent nation. We are asking you to join us in prayer and that each person, let's, let's uphold our young nation and be praying for every aspect of, of, of our nation, whether it be economics, political, education, health. We will say join us as we celebrate 40 years of independence. Thank you. The more we know about geothermal energy, the better prepared we are to capitalize on the possibilities. There are many questions to be answered. For example, in what communities will the exploration drilling take place? When will the drilling commence? And how deep will the drilling go? Geothermal exploration activities will take place at Mondesi Saltibus, Belle Plain, and Forsejac communities. The exploration drilling should commence during 2019, and the drilling depth will not exceed 2,000 meters. The Geothermal Resource Development Project is all about energy security. The more we learn, the better our preparedness for energy independence. A message from the Ministry of Infrastructure, Ports, Energy and Labour. Yes, we do give thanks for life and a mighty life giver. Give thanks, definitely. As we have a few again, um, full of self wind, definitely the lines are open 451934945317330. Definitely give us a call at us here. 
what you are about. Let us hear what you have to give us for this new year. You know, not only about let's not let's not call about right now about headache and belly ache and thing. Let us talk about the things that we can do as a people to help to better ourselves and take responsibility. Not just what somebody can do for you and them kind of things whereby you no, because we were we, the way that we were raised up as children, uh, the way that we we actually came through as children. There were things that we used just used to do, you know, like we used to drink our cement contour, we used to drink our sour soap leaf, we used to drink our sour orange or lime or lemon leaf lorget, you know, we used to drink our little basilic, we used to drink our little cocoa tea. All them things there, we should take our little laxatives and take all our little blood detox. All these things there were things that we went through cyclically as children, as part of our culture. So, these things there, when we used to do them, our people never used to be so fat. Never used to have so many of them diseases there when we used to keep them culture. Give us a call, 451-9349-453-1730. Let us know what's on your mind. Don't expect that I'm going to be doing all the talking tonight. You just there and think. The first program for the year, man. You supposed to be rushing to call and, 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 and say Happy New Year. After all, it's your New Year. Say so Happy New Year, please get lash and think all the best for the New Year, son. You say anything there? 451-9349-453-1730 Definitely give us a call. Let us know how it is that you as a person could begin to incorporate self-love in yourself and begin to take care of yourself better. Not just waiting on somebody to take care of you and you believe like you know you, you, you kill yourself so fast over the years and you just want a quick fix. In a matter of seconds. You know, you don't want to take your time and get well. You just want a quick fix. That's all you want. You just want a quick fix. Quick fix. Surgery. Pills. Anything, man. Quick fix. But refuse to take that responsibility for self to know well. All right, then. I'm going to do what I need to do. To actually make things better for myself. You know, because I've seen people who came with blood sugar levels over 700. And they spent days at, hosp at, at hospital and the blood sugar level is still 700 and something. And everything they try and then they do simple little steps and became consistent in them steps there. And the blood sugar level never went back up to 700. So we must realize that it's our actions, the things that we do, the things that the way that we live our lives. That is the fundamental reason why we as a people are actually getting ourselves so sick. You know, so we must understand that we actively contribute in it. It's not something that you have to you have to feel bad because preschoolers say, well, you work towards getting yourself. Diabetes. The, the, the spirit of a diabetic is, is, is someone who is very stubborn. I mean, stubborn like more than stubborn, you know, man. The diabetic would eat everything that they're not supposed to eat. And then they'll hide it underneath the bed. Right? And pretend like they don't know that it's bad for them. Yeah. Diabetics would eat everything that they know that they're not supposed to eat. Everything. And drink. Until they get to the point that the kidneys fail or this happened and that happened and then they begin to cry and think, 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 I'll do anything and oh yeah, yeah, I change my diet. So all the time, they never had the strength and energy. All the time, they never had the strength and energy to do this. Stop messaging in WhatsApp and just call the people messaging and on freeness. Yes, Gaspis, call a blessed. Hey, 
Yeah, blessed my love. Honorable. And happy new year. Give thanks for it. And same to the eye, man. Yeah. The science, you know, that is being used in the dairy industry when it comes to animal production is evil. Because when you transform a herbivore into a carnivorous animal, and we see the entrails of other dead animals. Great point, great point. The, yeah, the dairy industry is a cancer-producing industry. Yeah, man, great point, great point. Because people have to know that the milk that they are feeding the toddlers is pus. Contains the bovine leukemia virus. Yeah, man. That is causing cancer in a lot of our children. Blessed, my brother. If that's my brother. Great, great points. Great points. If I get five more points like that, knock out. That's it. Yeah, man. I had a great point there. Yeah, man. The, 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 the chicken industry, remember, you know, kill foolish children and kill fast chicken. I mean, they call it KFC, but I mean, it's kill foolish children and kill fast chicken. All them people that like, these people like actually grow their own chicken, you know, headless and and featherless and all type of thing, boy. Monsters, Frankenstein, right? And Frankenstein at dinner time on the plate, you know. So don't be late, you know. So you know how it is. So when is that you 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 are you are you are eating chicken breast now? When 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 long ago the days you say, boy, I'm to you my chicken chest, and people used to laugh at you and call you chicken chest because your chest meg. You mag in your chest and say, oh, chicken chest. Or you cry when they call you chicken chest. Right now, chicken have breasts. So the, the meatiest part of the chicken now is the breast. That's supposed to be the skinniest part. So they give them things. There's so much estrogen that they make the chicken, the fowl itself, build up flesh production around the breast area. And they call it chicken breast. So you can understand the amount of, especially those people who love their little chicken breast, the amount of, of, of estrogen that they actually put into their own physical structure. Yes. So a lot of the milk is pass too. Pass. Just pass. I mean, don't get upset with me. I'm just telling you, man. You could just go online and just read it and you'll see if I... Are oh, you upset with me? Just the messenger, man. You could block my face like this and speak and think. They won't see how I look. Just the messenger. Yeah. I mean, many of these, these animals' production, man. How, 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 they, how they produce these animals is inhumane. You know how they kill them too. And then you now. It's terrible, man. As a people, yeah. We need to stand up. 451 We need four more of those callers, like that caller who just called a while ago, to give four more knockout punches so at least, you know, people could get a good understanding, man. That was a good one there. Mm hmm. Yeah, man, them dairy industry and them, them things there yeah, is really dangerous, man. Cancer, cancer producers, that's what they call them. Very good, very good name for them. Yes, 451-9349-453-1730. Give us a call. We are live on the air today. You know, um, give us a call. Let us know what's going on, man. I mean, that was some good knowledge, man. Come on. You don't want me just to lock off now and say, well, okay, all right, well, I'm tired. No, you never like I say, boy, the man got in stylish name days there. Just come out of here and say, tired, and tired. But you're supposed to be helping me out there. You're there waiting for me alone to sit down and think about everything. Give thanks for the brother who had that wonderful point a while ago there. Great point. Great point. 451-9349-453-1730. The time you remember 2019 is there upon us already. Yes, then Ricola. Yes, Miss Taylor. Yeah, blessed. I need something for chronic constipation. Can you speak a little louder, please? I need something for chronic constipation. Chronic constipation. Are you hearing me? Yes. I think your TV okay. is too loud. 
Hello? Say so you're too close to the TV and the TV is too loud. Okay. I've moved the way. Yeah. I'll listen off air. Alright, love. Keep them. See, she wants something for chronic constipation, but we're talking about chronic constipation means that constipation over a prolonged period of time. So I could only come through the chronic, through chronically doing certain type of activities. So to get rid of chronic constipation, you have to begin to do certain things consistently. So for the next 21 days, you put like 21 leaves of cassia lata in a, a liter of hot water and you drink that through the morning, every morning for the next 21 days. All right, you... You blend about a five cups of vervine leaves in one cup in, in about three cups of water. You shred that and you drink that also throughout the day. Right? So if you do these two things alone consistently for the next 21 days, definitely you'll take care of chronic constipation. But you know of what you have to stop putting in all these simple, simple um sugars and all these um products with very little carbs, right? So definitely you have to go on a very carb low diet. You know, a fat low diet. Try to build up your your whole aspect of your physical structure by you know taking care of yourself and investing in yourself a hundred percent. You understand? So it's for you as a person to do it. Nobody, nobody will just come and do it for you. It, it takes an investment. Four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero. Takes a huge investment in yourself. So you want to get rid of the chronic constipation you have to invest daily on that so 21 days vervine green juice cassia lata exercise deep breathing exercise on the toilet bowl make sure you take a time and you sit down on the toilet too so some people too busy to sit down on the toilet oh when i come back home poop they come back home they knock on it oh when i come back home poop and two three days they never poop -poo. the poop -poo stays in them and, and rot just remember you know the poop -poo will stay inside of you and rot and decompose because inside of the colonic walls is like the outside plenty of bacteria and all type of thing inside there eh? right so you have to be careful 451-934-945-31730 definitely give us a call not only to ask questions but to contribute on the whole realms of what we have been discussing tonight about the deliberateness of our sicknesses and our disease and how it is that as a people you know, as a people, we could better ourselves. You know, how can we better ourselves as a people? Four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero. Yes? Okay, all right. I mean, come on, man. You can't expect that I'm going to be doing all the speaking. And still, when you call, it's still a question you're asking for me to speak. But you cannot... You cannot input something constructive to at, to, at, to at least uplift what we're doing i'm not saying nothing holy bugger you know. four five one nine three it's for you now to say something you now i'm listening to you come on not only about what's hurting you, you know but about the things that you know that as adults as ancients right that we used to give to our children. We used to take care of ourselves, give to ourselves. From the twelve wheels and the locks and all them different things we used to do. Don't you have anything to say about the greatness of them things? Yeah. We have to begin to teach them things in our schools again. When the doctors come down before they go back in the hospital, they have to teach them about them things. All them things that help our parents. Because many of these doctors there, after their parents born them, they had to take a lock. Nowadays, the nurse is telling the people that don't take no lock, looking at the colon or not their home. 451 I mean, if, if, if you're not going to call, I'm just going to call it an early program tonight because at the end of the day, man, I'm not going to do this on the battlefield alone. I mean, all of us have responsibilities. You know, we have to support one another in the things that we do you know so you cannot tell me that you're going to allow you you have a chance to call all right somebody from dominica whatsapp we don't want the whatsapp we want calls no calls 
Come on. Can't believe you. You want me to fight the battle by myself then? One person called and they gave three good points. One person called and they gave three nice good points. Another person called and then they asked about something there. But the points that the brother gave were awesome points. I wanted people to call in and give some points to, to actually compliment what a man said. Yes, Grace Caller, blessed. Yes, Grace Caller. I think we lost that. I'm not hearing Grace Caller. I think we lost that call. The man called and he gave some, some crucial points. I think that there are plenty of things that people just there waiting to help Rescale I say it, but they themselves don't want to say it. So you could call and you could say it too. Just going to wait on me to say it and believe, oh boy, Priscilla, keep up the good work and things. So you have nothing good to tell the people. So all them years that you're listening. You have nothing good you could tell the people. I'm sure there are plenty of good things you could tell the people. That you might know as an elder. Right? Because our children don't have to suffer like that. Because a lot of the things that they're going through is things that they go through already. So there are ways that our elders used to take care of them. So we can't afford to get too, 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 too out of ourselves that we cannot even focus on the goodness of what we receive coming up as children and all any type of things. So, so give thanks for this year, 2019, as it started off and it's just already finished again. You know, January come just now December at the end of it again. And so we give thanks specifically for all those of you who watch the program tonight who actually full joy with us. We give thanks for all of you who spend that divine moment with us. We give thanks for those people who called, those people who actually, you know, keep on focusing on uplifting themselves. So every time I see them, it's either that they are eating something healthy or they are exercising or they are doing something uplifting for their own spirit, or for their own, own soul. So, you know, we give thanks for all of you who, who, who wholeheartedly follow the works that we are doing and support us in whatever it is that we are doing, you know. And we pray that the Creator will keep on giving you strength. You know, to empower you in this time, you know, and in the future and in the present and in the past, that at least you could look, you could uplift yourself to this mighty, glorious being that you are. Right? So, greatness is some, not something that, you know, that it's for some people, it's for anybody. Just make a choice and just become great. Just do what you have to do, become great in yourself. The Christ title is a title that could be attained. So, Sit down in yourself, work within yourself, and attain that title. We have our final call for the night from, from Mark from One Killer Rejuvenation Center. So we'll take that call, and afterwards we'll sit up for the night, and we'll give thanks for life. Bless you, Honorable. Bless you, love. Give thanks for life. Give thanks. Uh, greetings. Um, perfect love going out to the people of St. Lucia from Mount Killer Rejuvenation Center. Um, we are praying that this year 2019 would be um, a real revolutionary year for our people in terms of their health choices. I mean, they've been doing um, revolutionary things along the path, and, and this year we, we pray that um, they are motivated and inspired to take it to take it a notch up. You know, we are, um, our people in terms of our health, we um, put our health first here because without our health and our wellness, we cannot manifest or create or get uh, accomplish a lot of the goals that we set for ourselves. So you know, I am. Um, I'd like to, on behalf of our our, our management here at Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center, I'd like to encourage our Saint Lucian people. You know, people from around the world has been doing it. Um, even currently, you know, it's people from outside of Saint Lucia. But I'd like to encourage our people, you know, to um, just just set a particular day and say this. These, if it's uh, um, seven days or even just three days over a weekend, these days you are going to take that time out and invest your finance in your health and wellness and, and come here to Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center 
and um, take full uh, advantage of the service we offer. Experience that um, kind of uh, the, that kind of healing, um, physical, spiritual, emotional healing that our international clients have been experiencing. You know, for the past uh, couple of years that we have opened our our doors to welcome them. You know, uh, basically our our place was staffed by St. Lucians. You know, we're not by St. Lucians. So why is it that our St. Lucian people can't really benefit? Let's not just make it something like um, typical tourist destination. Yeah, because we make no exclusion. As a matter of fact, we even make it more affordable for our local St. Lucian people. So um, once again, St. Lucians take full advantage of what we have to offer. You know, it is, I mean, we are very happy and pleased and honored to be able to have the kind of positive impact we've had on our people um, internationally, but as well it will be um, uh, something of, of, of great pride and great honor to be able to have that same, uh, provide that same service to our fellow St. Lucians. So let 2019 be that year when you decide, well, okay, uh, this is the day I am going to invest this amount in my health, making um, full use of the resources that that is offered on Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center. So give thanks again, Honorable Priest Kailash, our inspiration, you know, for Mount Kailash. Um, job blessings in, in fulfilling these works, yeah? Give thanks, Honorable. Blessed love, do give thanks, uh, all right, Honorable Empress Itopia there. You know, um, with you, um, definitely, we give thanks for the divine moment. I mean, one killer's rejuvenation center. I mean, things have things have definitely um, grown and are, are, are taking shape into something unique because you know, it's an, we are really creating an experience. We. You know, we have retreats up there and we have all different type of things up there. And, you know, all type of people from all around the world actually comes and spend a moment and get inspired. You know, many people literally come and get healed. All type of illnesses from emotional, spiritual, physical diseases. People come and let go and, you know, go through their cleansing programs and whatever it is that they're going through and get healed. You know, so we give thanks for all those people who have actually, you know, um, experience mkrc in marc that's in mark that's where we located mon killers rejuvenation center so we give thanks for all those people who internationally who have come and and, and full joined it we've had um people like mr brown from aa um hardware supplies in st martin who came and he you know he he just, when he's, he, he was walking up from the springs and he said, well, Priscilla, Kailash, I want a carpenter to build a railing and he came and he built a railing. So we have people who've come and who've contributed. You know, when they come and they see the work that is happening, they've come and they have actually, you know, give a helping hand towards actually getting things fulfilled that are supposed to be fulfilled. So we give thanks for life and a mighty life given. We give thanks for this divine opportunity to have been here with you today. Our first program and we pray that the Creator you know, we'll keep on blessing you and keep you steadfast on your journey of, you know, understanding yourself and learning to love self and beginning to get that full self-expression. Remember that everything can happen in an instant. It just depends upon where you focus the energy within your mind. So if you focus your, your energy on the part of your mind of sadness, you're going to be sad. If you focus it on the part of happiness, you're going to be happy. It's like being in a movie, you know. What made you screaming? What made you crying? I remember when growing up and watching my, when my mother was looking at Young and the Restless. If something happened to somebody, she crying, you know, man. Yeah, so, I mean, and if something happened again, she laughing. <laughs> so, it's not our happiness and our sadness can instantly change just based upon where we put energy in, whether we put energy in what aspect, right? What, at what aspect of our minds that we actually choose to put energy in. So, it's important to take full control of the mind. And begin to focus on activities and thoughts that actually uplift you and make you feel good and make you feel happy. You know, so if I if I am speaking to you and I'm describing a happy scene and I'm and I take you to a happy place, you're going to be happy. So no matter what your present predicament is, you could actually control right the area of your mind that you put energy on, then you could actually get that response from the, your mind that you are looking for. 
So let us actually take control of ourselves. Let's take control of our breathing. Let's take control of our meditations. Let's take control of our lives in order that at least we know that whatever it is that we are doing is for our benefit and for the benefit of the whole humankind. So we give thanks again for life and a mighty life. We give, give thanks for today, the 20th of January, 2019, our, our first program for, for this year. We give thanks for your patience. We give thanks for all those of you who are with us tonight. And we pray that the Creator keep on blessing you. You know, um, all the people of St. Lucia, they keep on blessing you. And all those of you, you know, who always bless us, you know, give thanks for your blessings. And I pray that this year may be a year of completion for you, that you may be able to, you know, get to the point that you want to get to, you know. So all guidance and protection, you know, go before. And I like great God and do I work thyself. As you know, you know, we have to cut and clear and rent and obstacles and snares, free water away. As definitely we need every help that we could we could get, you know. So we give thanks for everyone who actually do their little part. Because the man say one cocoa, one cocoa fill basket. But at the end of the day, it's the little bit that you do. Don't underestimate it, you know. It's fooling up, it's fooling up, it's fooling up, and it's making something big, you know. So keep on doing good. Keep on eating good. Keep on loving yourself. Keep on selling your little fruit baskets. Keep on doing different little things to uplift nature and nurture and creator. And definitely creatorhood. Always remember that. Always check for you. Always make sure that you are divinely safe, you know. So all guidance and protection. Remember tomorrow Monday, you could give us a call 451-8813 or 722-3660 to WhatsApp for appointments if you want to see us. You know, so we give thanks for life and a mighty life giver. Give thanks for you know, this divine and blessed moment. Give thanks for life. Ja Rastafari. That's it. Thank you.